Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On today's episode of Topics, we are going to be looking at false gospels and false teachers. Um, so we're going to begin by looking at a few verses that talk about this so we get an aspect of what the Bible says about this issue. 1 John 4, 1 through 6. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God, because many false teachers have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which has, we have heard is coming, and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from my God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God, and whoever knows God listens to us, but whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. So we need to be careful because there's a lot of pastors and preachers out there uh, in today's society that speak a false gospel. Now, later on, I will be going into a few of these that I know of that I'm aware and have heard of. Um, I'm not going to name specific pastors um, because I feel that's wrong. Uh, God should be the one to deal with them, but I should expose what they teach. Um, so let's go ahead and keep reading um, some more verses so we kind of get, get an understanding before we do this. Now we're going to read Matthew 7, verse 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Verse 16. By the fruit you will recognize them. So, again, we need to be watching for false prophets prophets false teachers because they say they from are from God but their actions and the things they do and some of the things they even say may be contrary to what the gospel actually says the last verse we're going to look at is second Peter 2 verse 1 but there were also false false prophets among the people just as there will be false teachers among you they will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. So the common theme here is to watch for false prophets and false teachers. Um, anyone that you listen to, including myself, you should be doing your own research to make sure what is being taught is sound doctrine. Now, I'm not perfect, so I am willing to admit fault or wrong if there's any time that I am saying something that may not be true. And I feel, feel comfortable with people calling me out on that. That is why when I do these videos, I read directly from the Bible. Um, so that I am staying where I need to be and holding true to the word of God. But every pastor, your local pastor, you should be making sure that they're speaking the right things. Now, not everyone's a false prophet if they accidentally make some say something that's completely wrong and they didn't really know, but it, when it's intentional, when it's someone that's preaching a gospel that is contrary to God, that is where the problem lies. So I'm going to talk about a few things out there that you need to watch out for. The first thing to watch out for is the prosperity gospel, which teaches that it's God's will to bless us financially, and that if we just pray hard enough, that God will give you all the fancy things in life and and if you want that car in your driveway, you just got to pray hard and give hard to the local church. 
This is the prosperity gospel. Also, some of these teachers say to live your best life now, which is false because this is temporary. When we go to heaven and we're, when we're on the new earth, when everything is set, reset, that will be our best life because we will be with Christ in paradise. This is not the best life now. This is our training ground and our mission ground to help others know Christ. And there will be struggles as Christians. So the afterlife, when we're in eternity with Christ, that is the best life. Another thing some of these teachers have said is that God is here to serve us and that God owes us somehow. This is false. We should be serving God because he loves us. We should be willing to serve the Lord and not treat him like he's some kind of genie. Another false gospel that is happening, and, and I believe this is the one that will lead to the uh, Antichrist um, from Revelation, it's the interfaith gospel. Um, if you haven't heard of that, that is where basically it's the coexist mentality where all religions coexist and cohabitate even though they don't agree with each other. Now keep in mind, uh, my message of unity, it's much different than that. Unity in the believers of Christ is different than all religions saying that they can coexist when they all have different messages and different gods. That's a problem. They can't coexist because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So those other religions that have other gods, I'm sorry, but they can't coexist when, God, when Jesus Christ says exactly who he is. The last one that has been going around is called the Little God Doctrine, where people are saying that um, we are gods in our own right, and that God has to answer our request because we have God within us. Uh, we are not gods. We are created by God. We are nowhere near gods. We are human beings created by God an everlasting loving father. We are nowhere near equal to God. And that is a message that comes from Lucifer because Lucifer wanted to be equal to God. So no, we are not gods. So be careful out there because there's a lot of people that uh, preach false doctrines and we need to make sure that we know what's right and follow the word of God and make sure that we um, are not giving in to doctrines that aim to uh, kill and destroy. But we need to be looking toward the Bible so that we can grow in faith and love in Christ. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. Have a wonderful week.